you know, I've got to ask this question. Um, is the is the motto of Jamaica really out of many one people? Is it? Is the motto of Jamaica out of many one people? Some people say it's a pipe. It was um, a con or so. But it is actually the motto. This is something that we learned in school, in high school, Otrius Primary, the Senior Basic School, um, York Castle High School, Brownstone Community College, a bit of cast as well. We all learned that out of many one people. So Jamaica is comprised of many different nations, many different nationals. We are a, a conglomerate of people, very diverse. You know, white, blue, black, not blue. <laughs> you know, um, you know, majority is black, of course. But I was just really concerned, just listening to some rhetoric in Jamaica on the political platform, and um, and I'm speaking just generally speaking, not from a political align angle. But I think it was Mr. Warmington, and I believe uh, Ms. Cuthbert film or film or so, um, saying things like, uh, I, I, I quote um, what um, Mr. Warmington says, that uh, he won't serve or he'll have to die living under a, a, a white prime minister or so. I'm referring to Mark Golden. And if English man rule over me in this country, I know I'm dead on the And it is very disheartening and it's very distasteful at this time. And it is uh, it's very disappointing that the, uh, the leadership of the government haven't distanced themselves from the rhetorics of these persons. The claims say I was a white man and true leader. And don't see me all over the show. I talk about this about the world is a white man. So why are you can talk about saying all this every day white? And we can't say it is 2024. Jamaica has a booming tourist trade. Uh, Jamaica has a lot of visitors. Jamaica is in this era now whereby we shouldn't be racializing um, leaders, racializing persons just because of the color of their skin. It talks about the contents of one's character. That's one of the things which is most important. So I just really hope that it is just uh, one or two individuals, but at the same time, reading some of the comments, hmm, yeah, reading some of the comments on TikTok and on Instagram and on Facebook, a lot of people are saying things. Then it, it wonders, it, it, it beggars belief then that uh, shouldn't it be coming from the top? Leaders should be setting a clear example or maybe leaders prefer that people, you know, operate in ignorance because it's beneficial to them to a certain extent. 2025, you've got an election which is coming up. 2025, there might be a change of guards. So therefore, anything that seems to be political expedient, maybe it's best for it to be left alone and don't say anything and let others say it, if anything. But it's very concerning, and I just hope that that, that somehow that this this whole thing really will actually don't become a, a norm in Jamaica, where you have such rhetoric, such racism, racializing at this time, 2024. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Silver Studio in the King's Parlour in the King's Park. Peace out.